gosh! <laughs> Gex? Oh my gosh, it's Gex. Okay. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm gonna have to tweet this because, oh my gosh, Gex. I gotta just hang, okay. Life is strange first. Right. He's like practically on my keyboard. Chloe, you're back. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning growth. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. All right. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I'm a bit, um... <laughs> yeah, you know, when you're recording and there's just a gecko. He's just like, hey. <laughs> hey, Gex, basically. Can I just deal with you quickly? <laughs> like, literally, Gex is still here. Um, and I'm gonna record with him there because, like, I don't think I can get him out safely. And he seems happy. And yeah, he's just gonna chill there. Okay, so the last episode of Life is Strange for us um, was a little bit <laughs> emotional, um, to say the least, right? I don't know why I was so teary, but I really was. It was a sad episode, and um, we had to make some tough decisions, which we made. Sorry, oh my gosh, can I just be even more professional? Um, <laughs> yeah, it was tough. I was sick as well. Let's. I don't know if that helped um what well, didn't help but let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far we're gonna carry on apparently some of you say it gets more emotional and worse and i can't even imagine i can't even i can't even imagine can i like talk to chloe and tell her that she is oh photo wait photo yes of my bestie chloe who it's great to have back Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. That's something, hey? Like, all yes, this time Chloe that Price she spent with here. him and she doesn't know. But... Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Mm. The Great Northwest. See, we've really got to catch up on everything we missed while we were playing with time. Playing with time? I wouldn't even call it playing. That was serious stuff. Um, the Prescott's Pan Estates, Haven or Hell, by Craig Kennedy. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or to those outside the edges of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay. A quaint town seemingly stuck in town. Oh my gosh! <laughs> sorry, um, Gex started crawling this way. I'm sorry, I won't be distracted by him. Um, seemingly stuck in time. Once home to a prosper um, prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen much better paydays, despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams. The Bigfoots and the Otters. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Oddly, the Prescotts have managed to keep their business interests quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive exclusive housing development known as Pan Estates to be built in the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Yeah, we saw a poster about that, that they wanted to do that. Um, that that's happening. So, that's interesting. Um, update on Gex, he has gone completely under my keyboard. And I'm getting lost in all this shit. 
it makes me not want to touch my keyboard, but it's okay. Like, I don't know, it's like I can't put weight on my keyboard now because I don't want to squash it, but that won't happen because keyboards are hard and it... So That's terrible. my Chloe. <laughs> Bad Girl's Guide to Guns. That's so Chloe. That snow dough always makes me think of William and Chloe. Alrighty. This <laughs> butterfly photo again. seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? Yeah. Wow, so much. We have changed so much. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. That's so sad. That makes me sad. All right, let's catch up on this board. Mm. Rachel, Kate. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. what things? Yeah, tell. One, decipher Frank's logbook. Okay. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And okay. see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. All right. Which I can't stuff. waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. Exactly. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be Good. careful of Stepcrack. He's not yeah. gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom was giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Yeah, I, I just, I'm not comfortable messing with so much time anymore. Oh no, Birdie. that poor little bird has been trapped in here. Can I get it out? Can I open this now? How long has he been trapped in here? Um. Birdie? Birdie? Hey. Where are you at? Come on, let's go outside. It's time to be free. I don't want him to die outside, though. Okay, go on, Birdie. What? Be free. Be free. I don't know what that's changing exactly, um, but I mean, you don't want the bird trapped inside. Oh, that blue dye mm -hmm. makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Yeah. Let's wash our face, just relax, be chilled. <sighs> All is what am I wearing? This isn't what I was wearing yesterday. Like, these are my salty chlorine clothes, aren't they? Was the top different? Um, I guess I'm just wearing my normal clothes. Let's turn up the light and keep going. Um, can we knock, please, today? Knock, Since knock. David might be in there. Oh. I better mosey along for a change. Okay, yeah. lagging a bit today, which is really weird. Sorry. Hi, David. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. 
Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I do feel bad for David. Um, I've never been completely against him. I, I know a lot everyone thinks it. But I think he does have his family's best interest at heart. Um, and I do feel bad. Okay, let's go up. Oh! Oh my gosh, that chemistry test we didn't change. Um, okay, so he made us the bombs, great stuff. Um, okay, yeah. Oh my gosh, so many texts. <laughs> okay, um, basically we're going. B minus? I got a B minus on my chem test. How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? Ouch, Warren the Wounded. The B minus, it burns. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. In this case, yes, my folks will shit. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that you shot her down. True? Chloe actually texted you? Oh, I sure didn't have her number. Oh my gosh. I don't want to embarrass you. Too late. She sounds cool. She's a cool dog. Like me. No, you're different. In a good way. So, we're still on to go ape. <laughs> no damn dirty human can stop me. Go ape, not human. Oh, go ape, not human. We shall see. I hope so. Now I have to get back to reality. That sucks. Indeed. I'll buzz you later. Yeah. I can't believe. So Chloe actually messaged Warren and said that I didn't kiss her. Which is so awkward. Um, that's really awkward. Oh my gosh, we have so many messages. Courtney. Hey girlfriend! <laughs> Let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh thanks Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check with you later. Thanks again for the offer. For the Vortex Club party. Yeah, I gotta fit in and stuff. Um Thanks, Pop, it's been a while and I've not already come. Okay. Hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a block number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Some jackass in my class thought it would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Juliet. Um. Hey, Max. I hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey, Juliet. Are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy method. That's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? Um... Juliet. Juliet. Isn't she like Victoria's friend? I don't quite Justin. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Sorry, my phone was in my bag. Hey Justin, you busy? Max Wax! I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it? Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? <laughs> Clueless. Kate. Um. Okay. So we read that she thanked her. Which is so nice. Hey Kate, I'm so glad you're okay. I'll visit you soon. Yes. Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you. And my bunny. We all miss you. And your bunny misses you. Yay! You're such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. XO. Ma. XO. I don't actually know what the FA stands for. Ma. Alrighty. Uh, hey, honey. 
I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. I remember that. The plant is doing well so far. Max, call us as soon as you can. Um, proud of you for saving the girl. Yeah. Sorry, Mama. I'll call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me gush over a black hero. I'll miss your voice. We're just very proud, so milk them this moment. And let us know if you want to come up for a quick getaway, okay? We love you, Maxine. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing some military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. You have no idea. No comment. I've kept Lisa alive, though. Um, through all this, so we're still safe. As long as you're around. Now, back to the books. Talk soon. XO. Maxo! XO Maxo! I totally get it. I totes get it now. That's so funny. XO Maxo. Um, is that it? Is that it? Chloe. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did we... How's the black one hero going? The hero is still shaking with nerves. And I even got Nathan Press got suspended. <laughs> You're a boss, but no emoji. Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to put the pieces together. Cool? I have something to show you. Meet me in front of the campus. Get that ass in gear now. Max? Hey man, I suck again. Sorry, I got in your face today and took out the bullshit rage on my best friend. Oh, she totally did. I remember after we were at the RV and she found out about Rachel. Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is your one get out of <laughs> get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO. And that was no emoji. So great that they've like got their friendship still and stuff David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos yeah. hey that TV those poor whales are like beached angels what is going on here They got their travel Looks like they're back, back on the road to Paris. I hope they get to go. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. It's <laughs> just, they need to talk about it because I don't know. They just I want to know to why he's keeping all, all this started stuff. with my vision of a tornado. Eco-apocalypse now? While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town has, the town that time forgot is, since the beginning of this week, in the literal eye of an environmental storm, starting with a freak snowfall of unprecedented eclipse, an unprecedented eclipse, dying birds, and now a half a dozen beached whales. Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA. Hmm, wow. What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered an actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. Continue to our next page. Yeah, it's so weird. Super weird. I'd be scared. I don't know what I would do if that kind of thing was happening, but I would be scared. Um, Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality, but I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? I wonder if Chloe would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. Yeah. Yeah, she can, everyone has a destiny. Like, she's got her own destiny and the other Maxes have their own. I don't know, I think their destiny is, is it all the same? Is everything just going to end up, no, because we change things. We change Chloe's destiny. She's alive. Poor birds. 
I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. Yeah. H-Max will have their own destiny. William never fixed up William the house. William never finished painting that wall. That's sad. That is super sad, actually, to see that. Okay, let's go search the garage. What am I actually doing at the moment? I guess I'm just gonna explore the garage. Yeah, looking for clues and, and stuff. I would think he's packed up everything though. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? It seems like the only person I'm helping is Chloe. I'm gonna be helping so many more people though. And like I help Kate and I'm gonna it help. Looks like Rachel. David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Maybe. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. If it's a cause that we agree with, then yes. As per our discussion about the new campus surveillance system, Ms. Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initiate this new era of Blackwell security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. But I don't see much wrong with that. Oh, meow, Ms. Grant. Right Twist that knife. I didn't need a surveillance camera to see the suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Ms. Grant. Wait, w w what happened? Did he get suspended? At least he has one weird fan. Dear Mr. Madison, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit what happened to you and his school has too many libertad metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you'll come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I'm scared of this school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Um, I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy, and without me, it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen D. Who... I didn't get him suspended, though, right? Like, I, did, I wouldn't have told the... Did I, I didn't tell the principal. Did I? I did, though. Did I get David suspended? I know it's been a while since I prayed. Did I pl I played? Um, did I get David suspended? I mean, that's hard. I did I lose him his family and his job? Did I do that? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates. David must be working for the Prescotts too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Je yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I have never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we should no have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. It kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... He should finish it. Like, that's honestly the feeling I've got from him the whole time. He's not a bad guy. He just... He's just misunderstood. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. They can work it out. They just need to have a good Either talk. Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Wow. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help with Nathan. It is appreciated. Best strong press. 
Hmm. I wonder if David is going to the party. <laughs> There's no reason for him to be at that party. Is that at the Black Bar Swimming Pool? Party. Huh, that's unsafe, isn't it? Just a big crowded party. Huh. I guess it's fine. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey David, whatcha hiding? Okay, um, this is something that might take me a while. Well, David is not a one, two, three, four guy. Um, Shit. <laughs> yeah, what would that be? What's his... What numbers have we got from last time? For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Really? Oh. Okay. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Seriously? Please don't mess this up. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. I'm scared that I moved the plank. I'm just gonna take it and put it back. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. And... Max, you better put that plank back to protect the nest. Exactly. This plank is good for nest protection, but bad for a nest photo. I don't know if I should have moved oh, it. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. Is it safe now? I really hope it's safe. You know how awful I would feel if the eggs got destroyed? I would literally feel horrible. Um, I'm not going to rewind. I'm just, everything looks like it's supposed to look. So, please let everything be okay. good for nest protection, but bad Otherwise, I will be phone. so upset. Okay. Um, crowbar. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Indeed. Let's do it. Crowbar. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. She knows something, Kate Marsh. Wow. David watched that fight happen? And then took a picture. Is that Chloe's? He's watching me. Max. Ready to show me something. Pay up. Score. Back to Chloe now. Yeah, as soon as I put that back so that he doesn't know I stole the stuff from in there. ta -dum. Is this garage door opens like upwards, right? It's not going to open and bash this and destroy the nest. No, I'm pretty sure the nest is going to be fine. Let's go back to Chloe. Yo, Call. Chloe! <laughs> Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing.